Place for me, to interpret for me, to make sure you understand every syllable that is coming out of my mouth. Are we clear? <laughs> when I was come, when I was asked to come and speak, right? I said, nope. All the nopes that have never been noped. Brad and Becky can do this one. But then I thought about it, right? I am gonna be very clear. I am a preacher's kid, and I know there are many preachers who knew me as a preacher's kid in this space today, and there's preachers who know me. I'm sorry up front. I will <laughs> repent after. Brother, I'm gonna come and get, you can lay the hands and ooh, ooh, all right, we got to done. Cause I am fuck the boy. Okay, please understand, the place where my fucks used to live is now a barren, land with cracks in the ground because I know I cannot understand how you have been silent when I'm saying you I mean you my brothers I my brothers who are white where y'all been where have you you say you've been here you I said the reason I said I didn't want to come initially because I couldn't stand having another one of you come and say you stand with me you say you stand with me, but do you stand with me when I'm at the bank trying to put a, a check into my own account? They ask you for seven pieces of ID. Do you challenge that wrong? Do you stand with me? Do you stand with me and say something and do something? You say you stand with me. You say, Melanie, I'll march with you. I will stand with you. But will you cross the street with my six foot one, 220 pound son with his twisties will be standing and walking along the street on his way to work? Will you cross the street because he may be a threat? Do you stand with me? Yes. You know, I'm listening to everybody saying this show of hatred is a re reminiscent of something that we thought was in our past. For people like me, my brothers and sisters, the African diaspora, it's Sunday. Yeah. It's Sunday. It's just another day in our 398 year history since they stole us off of our lands and brought us here upon the white line. Understand and be clear. If you say you're gonna stand with me, white people, do some shit. That doesn't mean send an email. That means go to Rotary and challenge your people. That means go to, um, what's the name of that thing? Uh, Locust Hill and challenge your people. Get your cousins. Get your damn cousins. And you'll say, I, I, it's not me. Melanie, I'm one of the good ones. You're only as good as your last stand. And where was it? And, and Twitter don't count. Facebook don't count, thumb thugging. If you're gonna stand with me, cause I know you're silent, I don't need you to validate me in my blackness and in my black space. Understand and be clear. I have been fighting this fight since my grandmother and I'm standing here. I am this woman. I'm standing here as my mother and her mother and her mother and her mother's mother holding this ground. If you're going to be an ally, it's put up a god dog on it, shut up. Because I'm tired of you. I want to come here and talk about peace because I'm Mama Mel and I'm the peace lover, but I'm tired of y'all. I'm tired of the fact that you say you stand with me when you think I'm being respectable. I'm tired of y'all thinking that you stand with me because my subject and verb agree and I do not split infinity. I'm tired of y'all trying to say you can stand with me because I look good and I'm in the paper and I travel around the country. You need, just like you stand with me, you need to stand with Daisha Kwan. Just like you stand with me, you need to stand with Bonquisha. Just like you stand with me over there in Beachwood, you need to stand on Avenue D. Understand and be clear. If you're going to stand, stand, damn it. this and make sure that it's clear. This is my son. I may not have birthed him from my womb, but he is mine. And you will not erase him. You will not erase me. You will not erase anyone who is even remotely related or looks like me in our space when we are speaking our truth. Because that is your privilege talking and you need to get it checked. 
Am I clear? Yes, yes, you are. You're going to ask me, what can you do for me? What can you do for people against this hate? You can stand up. Any time that great changes happen, it's come from a heart space, not a head space. White people, get out your head. Get out your head and get into your heart. People stop smoking because they have babies. People make great strides because they have a heart thing. You say that you love me, but baby son said you don't love my flesh. You, now black folk, y'all know what that means, but the rest of y'all go look it up, okay? If you say that you love me and we have all this peace and light, then you stand for me. That means you stand for my son when people are trying to discriminate against him. That means you stand when you see him pulled over by the cops. That means you stand with you stand in the office when you hear people when the black woman is standing and trying to make her point known and they're calling her angry. You stand with her. That means you stand with my son when they're trying to put him in special air. That means you stand at the bank when they're trying to deny me the loan. That means you stand in all the ways that you can stand and spend your power and your privilege. Start spending because you have it. Your signs are lovely, but that and a dollar will get us all on RTS. All I wanna say is that while you're standing here and you're holding your signs, you're rejecting this hate, this hate has been with us. This hate is America. Don't get it twisted. This hate is America. It ain't never went nowhere but you've been lulled into silence as they keep expanding the definition of white. Wake up, wake up, wake 